Hey guys, Ronnie here from M5 Stack. In today's video, I would love to introduce you the COMX data transfer module. Now you might be wondering, what is the COMX data transfer module? Well, for IoT applications and projects, we might need some wireless communication modules. As we know, most of the M5 products are based on the expressive ESP32 chipset, which means it has a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. But for some projects, we might need longer range connectivity and maybe some low power connectivity. For this reason, we've introduced the COMX data transfer module series that we will introduce you right now what it includes. For example, right here, I have five modules and another two, which are the LoRa module. Here we have the LTE 4G, which is very, very useful for outdoor applications with high bandwidth. Right here, we have the GSM, lower bandwidth, but lower power also for outdoor usage. Right here we have LTE data and here we have Sigfox. Now one of my favorite ones are the NB-IoT. The NB-IoT can be used indoor unlike the others that are used outdoor and it's very low powered. As well it has global coverage which means we don't need a specific SIM card in order to use it. It can be used in most of the countries if not all of them. Now right here we also have LoRa modules that we can introduce later on. Now once we understand what kind of COMX modules we have, let's head over into the actual module to understand its functionality and possibility and what can it do. Now after we understand what the COMX module series are, let's head over into our module to understand how it looks like from inside and what functionality and features it holds. Right here we have the M5 stack COMX module. As we can see, it's a compact size, five on five. The difference is that unlike other modules, it's a little bit wider, as we can see here. This adds more stability. As well as the pins, as we can see here, are a little bit longer than other pins, which means it enables to connect core and core two in a better way, in a more stable way. Now, if we flip it over to the other side, right here we can see it's a lower module AI Thinker RAW 07H. Right here we can see, if we look closer, that this is ROS NFCC certified as well as 803 to 930 megahertz broadband. Now it's important to know that different broadband is functional in different countries. And not always you can buy one to use in your country, you might need to make sure that it's compatible with your country. For example, other modules like LTE and Sigfox don't have this kind of issue. Now. What we can notice is that we can actually take the module out of here, just like that, slowly take it out. Yes, as we can see, it's compatible and the base is all the same for all the modules. The module is here and it's very easy to connect and take it out. Now, once we put the module here and we look more inside into the block, into the base, we can see that there is deep switches right here, which can change the IO functionality. Another very cool thing is that there is a DC input right here that support 5 volt or 12 volt. And as we can see here, there is a small switch. We switch it to the left for 12 volt and switch it to the right for 5 volt. Another nice thing is that this switch and this DC plug can actually power the core or the core 2 module. So it's very convenient. We don't need double power. We just need one DC power and it can power both and it support both 5 volt and 12 volt volt differences. Now this is very nice and very useful for many many applications and as we can see it's all standard which means it doesn't matter which module we use it will work both for M5 core and core 2. Now I hope you enjoyed this kind of introduction for the COMX data transfer modules and I hope to see you using it for your next project. See you next time.